Welcome to BWB TV. I'm Maribel Rios, editor at Bioprocess International. I'm here with Magdalena, president and CEO of SDC Biologics, and Zara, chief technology officer at SDC Biologics. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me about SDC Biologics? Yes. So uh, SDC Biologics is a boutique CDMO located um, in the Cambridge area. We actually started in Cambridge, but we also now expanded our offices to Newton, Massachusetts. And the reason for that is because we're uh, expanding our capabilities to also include GMP manufacturing. And uh, so at STC, we can do anything from cell line development, process development, formulation development, analytics, and uh, actually understanding that uh, the, the impact of analytics uh, and uh, quality attributes on biology. So what makes you different from other CDMOs? Yeah, I think there, there are three aspects that makes us unique. As Magda mentioned, we're a, a boutique uh, CDMO. And in that, what that means is that we're fast, uh, we're very flexible, um, and we, have, we provide um, customized solutions. It's not just cookie cutter, you know, here's a platform, you know, fit, fit a square you know, thing into a round uh, hole. Um, and the client has access directly to our scientists, and more importantly, they have access to raw data, ready access to raw data, which is really rare for a large company. You know, for, in a larger company, it's very difficult to get, to, you know, to get access to the raw data. The second aspect is that we're all product development experts. Uh, we've had a um, number of commercialized products that we've commercialized. So that together with our understanding of chemistry and biology, again, as Magda mentioned, allows us to really look at holistically at the whole program, at the whole product uh, itself, and have an integrated view of that. And as a result, uh, together with really a good um, understanding of regulatory expectations, provide the most, I would say, efficient design around solving you know, problems for the, for the client and, and being almost like a consultant for them to, to, you know, to help drive the program. And the third aspect is that we're really passionate about product development. We've become passionate about the product itself. Um, and as a result, we feel and we become part of the team, of the client team. And so it becomes really a very close, you know, closely working relationship. And we actually help drive the programs through clinical development. So SDC is building a new GMP facility in Cambridge, which is ready Q1 2019. Can you tell me more about this effort? Sure. Um, we're very excited to actually do this because, as you know, you, we're in a hub of biotechnology here, uh, and there's really no CDMOs with any GMP cap capabilities that are local. I think people are starting to grow really tired of communicating with companies across the ocean and waking up at 6 a.m. or 10 p.m. at night to have a teleconference and not understanding some of the data that they're getting because obviously uh, there's some cultural differences or, uh, or even just the way that people approach, approach things in, uh, in, another, in other countries. So being able to be uh, close to the client, like Zara mentioned, and having that proximity makes it easier for people for example, they're going to work on the way to work, they can stop by, meet the scientists, see if their GMP production is going well. So we have been providing all the um, uh, services to everyone except this GMP manufacturing. And this is great because everybody in Cambridge pretty, mu pretty much wants a one-stop shop. So even though we're actually in Cambridge, the facility is going to be in Newton. It's a 3,500 square foot facility um, that's uh, going to host uh, all fully disposable um, uh, um, uh, production uh, for drug substance uh, in 500 liter scale starting. And then by June 2019, uh, uh, we will also add that 1,000 liter capability. So I think we'll be the only company in this area that's able to do this. Excellent. Yeah. And added to that, I want to mention that um, we already have had, uh, been for the past three years, established quality systems to do GMP release and stability testing. So this is an add-on. The production part is something that we're adding on now, but it's built on already established uh, quality systems that meets both EU and uh, US regulatory expectations. Um, the other piece I want to add is that we also are, are hoping to go to vial to vial. So uh, while the drug substance manufacturing would be the first to go, we're actually thinking about in bringing in a gloveless, you know, fully uh, enclosed system for drug product manufacturing that would basically cut the, uh, the transition uh, to another CMO uh, out and you would be able to go directly from drug substance to drug product. So vial to vial would be the, you know, right. would be really optimal. And also reducing the risk of transportation, because think about it, after you make a drug substance, you have to then freeze it most likely or and you have to ship it somewhere uh, here we would just go directly into filling the vials and then we can provide the clients actually 
So that would shrink probably the development time by three months and reduce risk substantially, I think. Exactly. So one last question is, I heard STC doesn't need to advertise, so which is a little strange. So what's, what's your secret to that? Well, so it's really, our, our clients have been coming to us by word of mouth, by our reputation. They've actually seen that we've delivered um, for really complex programs, we've actually been able to deliver fast and with very high quality and with technical rigor. And it became a word of mouth and also location, right? So the combination of that has made it so far, uh, clients are coming to us and we're profitable. That's fascinating. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you Thank very you. much for inviting us.